Um, C charting is very simple. You do need to make sure you do intermediate school first and then go to the Mercator up at Amsterdam and then he'll get you to chart the North Sea but if you've already done a lot of that to say unlock St. Petersburg you know you'd have done that already um, so the sea chart in an easy way I have found myself is with a little help of a little map and uh, a navi so as you can see on my screen we've got the basic map and if I just quickly load up a charting map now <coughs> What we're going uh, to do is we're going to chart this little bit of sea just above the Java Sea, so I'll just put it back there. So we're going to do Thailand. So we're in Jakarta at the moment, so we'll just do a quick cruise up to Thailand. And like I say, with the little map I've got, and I will put it into the link below we need to go to 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we'll probably have to do a bit of fishing um, and possibly stay within the sea as well so we'll just uh, get this loaded up for us so charts uh, obviously it's in the zone we're in and it should be there we are so we'll just see it being highlighted there in game and then we click research so this one here should be that point there so far so good with this map by the way and you'll see that we have to fish as well so what we'll do is we'll quickly get over there and start it so what's the perks of uh, doing the ocean charting well, summary information is a bit hard to find. Um, when I was doing a little bit of researching for this video, I couldn't actually find any specific perks. However, I do. I'm on the understanding that uh, it does provide us some sort of speed boost within them zones that we chart so I'm not able to confirm that but you know that's what people are saying and I must admit it does seem to be a little bit faster through the zones that I've charted and a bit slower in the ones that I've not so like I say you know take out information as you will um, the other thing to f uh, think about is the XP and the fame that comes with it um, you do as you chart more and more and more you do get really good healthy lumps of XP and fame so I will speed this uh, little bit up uh, until we enter 
our first zone. Okay, so we're just about there now. Um, the skills associated with uh, charting is you'd need uh, recognition um, and of course fishing as well. Um, so those are your main skills that we'll be using. So we're just coming up to number one on here and then we'll go zap the chart and then we'll get told that you've finished a map investigation point in in the uh, charting so if we just go to research we can see that's now blue and that we get second set of coordinates and a few more other little bits to do so we'll kind of ignore that for now as we make our way up to number two and then we'll hit recognition in a few moments still slightly off it we should be able to zap it there we are so we'll need to go down to number three now so we'll just go there and we'll click fishing now as well because then that'll help towards the investigation other subsections oh god gone a little bit skew riff on that one so we'll head down to number three and while we do that we'll just have a quick little look in our little charts so you'll see two bits blued out now and then we get another red pinky one there the pink ones you have to do and then you'll see you know as you do more you'll unlock that and then of course whilst you're fishing you know you can see your fishing and acquisition rates and everything and like I say every little task offers different amounts uh, so one and one which I found out earlier the Java C you will have to do a crest that finishes within the zone to finish that particular chart off So, so just keep that in mind that some of them won't be as straightforward as some of the others but the uh, majority of the ones that I've done so far survey, uh, I mean recognition, go to the circles, fish and stay within that sea zone for sort of 20 days or so oh we're just coming up on number three now so we'll just do a quick recognition and then up to number four and again like I say we'll fish on the way it will save you a bit of time um, as well And like I say, all the time we're catching fish, they'll go towards a tally that we have to catch. So again, you can check that again. And all the way through, you will see new ones picked up. So at the moment, we're quite a way off. So... 
you know, like I say, fishing, try and fish as much as you can, uh, travelling towards the circles, because that, that will only make it quicker for you. I mean, of course, you can do requests that finish within that sea zone and discoveries and whatnot. I mean, that's great, you know. Particularly if you want to raise that, perhaps I'll uh, do it on the way to, you know, while you're in the same waters and that. I mean, you know, there's no right way, no wrong way, but this is just something that I found to be a lot easier um, might also be worth making sure you're either blue flagged for a day and try and do as many as you can or do what I do and just try and rely on the uh, tributes. So we're in the fish, fish, fish. Um, towns and cities won't count as discoveries. I have already tried that. Uh, look, so this is our fourth one. What we'll do is we'll just go and anchor here. Just while we get our fishing done. There we are, so we're just anchored outside Lock Pribure. So we'll, like I say, you will get others, like this white one here. Again, that is an option. Uh, optional one so as you can see now that we've done all all the all the uh, circles we've now unlocked a hundred percent achievable so we need 30 percent left so fishing gives 10 percent each and looks like we will have to go towards that one so 50, 42, 41, 60 so 50, 42 so we'll just have a quick look at fishing so as you can see we've done our first bit of fishing and our second one we're on our way to So as we're coming up towards our thing, we'll just cancel our fishing for a moment. No, we're not close enough yet. So it is somewhere near here. 
let's just do a quick one. No, it's still not close enough just yet. Double check up we are on the white. 50, 42, 41, 60. So it's actually up here, look, number five. Yeah, sometimes I do that. I don't look at the whole zone. Sometimes I should, I guess. Because then it would have been self explanatory, but. Oh well, it happens, so we're all coming up close to it now, there we are, so we've got that done, so now it's just our fishing, and so we'll just sort of anchor here, there's no NPCs, we're in safe waters as well, so we're good to go so we should just need the 10% which this one will give us and we've got to catch another 40 fish so again I'll just speed this little bit up for you guys Okay, so we've just been told in our chat that um, we've completed the map. Seems complete and check. And so, as you can see, we've got 611 fame. And we also got 3977 Adventure XP. However, that is based with the current 30% extra. Now, the other perk, that, um, actually, of um, charting, you can see the details button here. And so, <clears throat> we can like see what the weather's like and everything else um, if we went into a port we do also see details of that so we'll just select Java for now so as you can see we can go to the two three towns that I've been to so far 
So we'll see Jakarta. And we can see what they have, what they sell. Um you know, ships, um and trade goods as well. So there, there are perks. I mean to be fair there's nothing that you couldn't find on either row at the moment. Um I don't think at least, but it's all there in black and white in front of you just in case I don't know you doubt something and I think that's about it really uh, for charting you know it's a good XP earner it's not a lot more to it really than what I've showed you so please um share like comment and share thank you for watching